Governor Jay Inslee says the state is successfully clearing encampments along state highways, but he says millions of dollars are needed to keep the program going. Our Olympia Bureau Chief Drew Mickelson joins us live tonight. So Drew, you asked the governor if the state could have done more to prevent these roadside encampments in the first place. What did he say? I did, Joyce, and you're about to see he didn't really like that question much. He says these are success stories. We're by one of these sites here along I-5 in Olympia. Instead of tents and trailers, there are fences and boulders, and the 100-plus people who were here are now in shelters. But the governor says he needs another $100 million from legislators to keep the program rolling across the state. People really have trouble grasping how much work it is to clean up a site like this. Governor Jay Inslee came to South Seattle looking for a progress report. Well, it was a heck of a lot of work. When I was here last, this was just covered. Back in March, the state transportation property was home to 33 people and their vehicles and trash. But after the state paid for cleanup crews and social workers, today the site is clear. We are making big progress, big progress in our effort to resolve some of these homeless encampments. In the past year and a half, the state has spent more than $140 million cleaning up encampments on state property, typically along highways. The funding has also turned hotels into temporary housing. 30 encampments have been cleared, but the state estimates there could be as many as 2,000 more. Governor Inslee plans on asking legislators for an additional $100 million to continue the program. One Nicole Alexander says is more than just a cleanup. We've walked into their new apartments with them. We've helped them reunite with their children, right? She works for the nonprofit Purpose Dignity Action. And when she looks at this now empty site, she thinks of those her organization helped place in permanent housing or shelters. If you don't have the resources and folks don't have the trust, they're not going to come inside. They're not going to be able to have the ability to work on the other things that they need to work on to really be able to move forward. We all believe in Santa Claus, but Santa can't take care of this problem. We need to make investments. The governor says spending hundreds of millions of dollars to find homes for thousands of people is worth it. And when asked if the state could have done more to prevent this. Sure, and if we'd done it 12 years ago, you would have said it's a scandal that we shouldn't waste that money. So, Drew, you reported there may be 2,000 of these encampments. How many people are living on these state-owned properties? Well, the Department of Transportation says it's kind of hard to tell. This one here in Olympia had about 150. There was one in Spokane with almost 500. But the majority are just a handful of people, two, three people in some cases. And the state's also saying that this isn't just about moving the people who are living out here right now. They're saying this is a long-term investment. They're building tiny home villages with this funding. They're also converting some of those hotels. So they say this will help the state for decades to come. We'll see. Wow. Drew Mickelson reporting live for us tonight.